Welcome everyone. Um, Sandra Alexa here from Game Changer and MyPersonalMuse.com. Okay. Um, well, we've been through a lot. We're just uh, still feeling the full moon, the full super moon in Scorpio, and we have Mother's Day tomorrow. And then we do the dance with Venus. So relationships are going to be on the table for the next few months. Okay, I'm doing a lot of um, sessions and readings um, right now uh, for, in regards to relationships. And those that are uncoupling are looking at the karmic lessons they learned so there's no anger or whatever. Anyway, it's, it's just a lesson. So today we will look at the changes because there are an awful lot of changes coming up. So May and June, we have a lot of retrogrades. We have the eclipses. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them separately because it's too much to do everything at once. So let's go. Here we go. The gold or the gold nuggets different messages. It's like um, a weather report. So we're having more shifts, more transformation. However, there are now opportunities and possibilities, okay? If you can just listen to what is said, this is just a message, and you have the choice, okay? Everything in life is about choices and decisions. You may as well get used to all of these shifts and understand how we're here, how they are here to enhance your life. Okay, we had to stop. Everything was out of control. The world. This is a transformation that has been in effect since 2007, 2008, and I have wrote about it every year and every month. Okay. So on May the 12th at 21 degrees of Gemini, okay, Venus will go retrograde until June 25th. So May 12th to June 25th. So we're asked to go within. The shift, the nodal shift, which there is a video on YouTube, um, which the North Node has moved into Gemini and the South Node is in Sagittarius on May 5th until January 2020. Also flavors, okay, this Venus and Gemini retrograde. It's like we're, it's a recipe, you know, it's like what is going on? That's what we're looking, we're going to dissect it. Now, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, okay, so that's about beauty, it's about love, relationships, abundance, value, worth, and finances, okay? While Mercury rules Gemini, and Gemini, we know, can be two personalities in one. They're very sociable, witty, and all about communication. So, Venus is going to reveal to us the nature of our relationships to ourselves and others. The big question, is it love? Is it lust? Is it infatuation? Is it obsession? Is it codependence or divine love? That's the question. So through a process of self-discovery, okay, is about communicating with self, listening to your intuition, being your own observer and witness, and discerning. Are you reacting? Are you responding? Do you have clarity? Are you calm? Uh, it is all about being integral, authentic, transparent, and honest, because it'll come back to bite you. Knowledge is power, so you need to question, use inquiry, and think for yourself rather than being manipulated. During this time frame, you will be given you will be given the opportunity to get clarity and heal any issues in your relationship or blocks. 
to love and discern when you're in the wrong match and move on uncoupling with honor and grace. Great time to do shadow work on self. You may gain closure with and or reunite if the timing, if it's meant to be. The big thing is take those rose colored glasses off and your head out of the sand. Okay, have integrity, complete transparency, honesty, and being authentic. Okay, very important. The retrograde period is a time to go deeper underneath the surface. Okay, it's like a detective. Revelation, reaction, and rebellion. But the key here is self-mastery. Self-mastery of our emotions, of our thoughts. Connections can be made between two people's hearts and minds, okay, and getting to know them, their personalities and characters, finding that match without having anything to do with physical forms, okay, which is best is a distraction and at worst can be an obsession. So it's all about knowing yourself and then discovering the real in the other person. This is where the process of discernment is especially important. Uh, if you look at um, on Game Changer on the YouTube channel, all 11 chapters, there's a synopsis, and this is what it's all about. The first chapter is all about self-discovery, and it is the new model <clears throat> of relationships. I would really suggest you have a look at that. Um, you can purchase it online at Amazon, it's in um, ebook, softcover, hardcover, and audio, okay? And this is the time, it's self-discovery. The biggest investment you'll ever make in your life, one of them, okay, is your relationship. The right one will make you, the wrong one will break you physically, financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, okay? And the reason I'm saying that is because we now also have connections to Neptune. Venus is connected to it. And so we're going to be asked to consider our hopes, our fantasies, and where reality can and cannot match. Venus-Neptune energies can seem very glamorous. However, it can be all smoke and mirrors, deception, and not seeing the real person. Real hard aspects, okay, can include being invo involved with an energy vampire, okay, that can t make your money dissolve easily as they spend yours or you spend on them. Draining your cash and your energetic life force and your time. You can be very naive, very vulnerable, and open to being gaslighted. Gaslighted is where someone may manipulate you by psychological means, wherein you start to question your own sanity. You start to believe it is your, it's your fault. Have I done this? And check out um, narcissistic personalities. Or they can prey on you like catfishing. Okay. And a catfish is someone who creates a false online identity whose sole purpose sometimes is to... Engage in a fantasy, okay, and eventually ask for money. And there is a lot of this. You might not believe it right here in Canada, right here in Alberta, okay, and in BC. I've had clients where it's typically female, okay, that seem to be taken the most and they're just lonely. But there is some men too, okay. But it, it seems to be predominantly, and so one was 125,000. The other one I just talked to a few months ago was 75,000. And don't, don't ask me why they do it, okay? We know why they do it. They're not alone, okay? And they are manipulated, okay? That's why you really need to know yourself. What are your triggers and that type of thing? So I'm suggesting healthy forms of self-care within love. So learn, you're learning to love yourself. That's your first love. And then divine. 
as well as a chance to heal past disappointments will present themselves to you. Learning to value, honor, and love self. Finding your self-worth. Okay. Whether it is past love that reappears or new passionate connections, we are learning the powerful lessons that only love can bring. Specific lessons. I would definitely wait until Venus goes direct until June 25th to make any major decisions concerning relationships. Check out your financial situation and make peace with any women in your life. Because again, Venus, okay, is all about money and abundance, finances. Okay, Neptune, which we talked about, is illusion and delusion. And it's challenging aspect to Venus. So you might be a little bit foggy, a little bit confused. Could be some self-deception Others can be deceitful, they can be liars, they can manipulate, not a lot of clarity, a little bit of forgetfulness. The key is to remain practical and grounded as Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which can be fickle and changeable. We need to question ourselves and others as Mercury, which rules Gemini, is known as the trickster. So you need to be really calm, you need to be self-observant and get clarity aligned with the divine. Mercury will be inviting us to probe and question the emotional undercurrents and unconscious patterns that underlie our perception and communication, which is a major lesson in 2020. Huge lesson. Okay. Your work will involve finding new ways to communicate your emotional needs within relationships. Be very discerning. I mean, this is the third or fourth time discerning. As Neptune is squaring Venus three times, so we can experience self-deception. So you, you will see what you want to see and can be deceived. The media is very deceptive. So fast check. Dates to watch for as we have one, had one hit already for the deception are May 20th and July 27th. Mark your calendars. If a relationship has ended, do your cleanup work on the karmic lessons you've learned and let go. Uncouple with grace, with honor. Okay. This period is so intense and awakening and enlightening that I suggest you might want to print this off as I'm, I will have it on my Facebook page and document form. And so you can mark these dates. Again, incredible opportunities and possibilities, new approaches and strategies during the next few months as Venus retrograding. So you're going to be asked to now listen, re-edit, rethink, reassess, rework, renegotiate, relook, review. So you're queried to use the powers of intuition, discernment, awareness, mindfulness, and the power of observation through being your own witness. And so you can say, am I reacting? Am I responding? Is it a perception? Is it truth, fact, whatever? Yes, with retrogrades, you're directed to go within. And these next few months should be very interesting. As with the lockdown, you have had a chance to stop, pause, and go within. Now, are you acting, reacting? Are you responding? Over what and why? That's your questioning. Do not jump into relationships. Your ex is an ex for a reason. Grass is not always greener. Do not make big investments. That's the financial thing. Things to do, get creative, practice self-care, self-love, be authentic, connect with your emotions and share them. Okay. Check what house is ruled uh, by Gemini and what Gemini and what planets are involved, remembering the orb, if you're into astrology. The Saturn-Pluto conjunction will be around for the next few years, so everyone's asked to restructure and discipline your life. These are the things. Because Saturn is sitting here in December, until December. Be pragmatic, become self-reliant. You want freedom? Well, figure it out. 
as you need to be responsible and self-reliant and self-sufficient. So take this important time to learn about self and what Venus and Mercury are all about for you. A lot of other retrogrades um, and some eclipses, which I will talk about um, later. I'll have um, special videos on them and I'll give you more clarity. So you can ch uh, check out Game Changer, okay, the YouTube channel um, on For the Sifts and Changes. It's an incredible time to book a personal session or reading. And um, please consider um, sharing this video. Hopefully you can check out the other videos that I had talked about. Um, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. So much love, many blessings during these awakening times. And I really hope that some of these gold nuggets and these messages can bring you some clarity and some peace. Thank you.